We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Former Crimson Fleet. An old Jacobins would be the term for it, back in my day. Left that life behind me. Even before I signed up with Constellation, I was retired. Aha! Uh -huh. You got your nickname from Vlad. You're official now. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Always preferred working alone, even around people I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light, and she only has one speed. Lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. Only going to be able to give you so many at once. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia, it's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but I'm an old man and I'm worried. Another rook in constellation who's making a name for herself likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. It's okay to be worried about her, Vlad. She's been out there for a while. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus proclamation? 
The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners. And I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. I make the visit when they need me. Don't mind the loner's life most days, and the eye is important work. But I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. Usually doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but... Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Find it.
Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Are you prepared to die?
again, we are triumphant. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there man. What I had done. It was, yes. 
I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> risk. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Yes, it would seem they have not yet learned how much it will cost them. Then that is their fundamental problem, is it not? An inability to see anything other than the path which they have created for themselves. You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics, having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So? In this, I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us.
vehicle. You are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute? Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? A couple of scans from the eye, but it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored, they tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Exactly! We can't forget what really makes us human. Genes and evolution are what made us human, Mateo. Both of you clearly need to go back to school. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Oh. Tell the rook to meet me back on board the station. Is something amiss? Ah, yes, we are done. I hope. I'm telling you, the Commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk.
stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. I'm your ticket out of the mess you've gotten yourself into. That's all you need to know for now. Hmm. Highly perceptive. Let me add that to your list of skills. Speaking of which, let's see what we're working with here. Seems you had a bit of a reckless past. Always fancied yourself as a wild one, eh? We can work with that. I also see that you've mined on Vectera. And now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Absolutely right. Well, I'll have my people get right on that. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? United Colonies System Defense. Does that help you figure out exactly what it is we do? UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. On the books, they maintain combat-ready spaceborne forces to deter aggression and ensure the safety of the United Colonies. What all that fancy claptrap means is that they're the ones who fight in the wars to keep our territory secure. Are we really playing this game? The pirates, like the ones you tangled with on Vectera? Please stop pretending you have no idea what I'm talking about. No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we'd have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. If the military rolls in and attacks the Crimson Fleet, we'd have a full-scale war on our hands. That means losses, heavy losses, that the United Colonies can't afford. Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Well, first of all, we'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the vigilance. Wipe the slate clean. Better still, depending on how well you do your job, We'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any cost that the operation will incur. Or, you can throw that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. I'm not coercing you into doing anything. I'm simply giving you a chance to redeem yourself. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else?
If I didn't think you had a chance, I would have left you in lockup. You're just going to have to follow your instincts and trust me. You aren't leaving until I have an answer. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Let's go. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gotta be the commander's new mole, huh? We're trading a bunch of pirates. We've got a lot of guts. Still, it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I could. But I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? Yes, what? This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Howdy. Excuse me. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. We are currently in the Sol system, in deep orbit around Phobos. As to why, I'll explain momentarily. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. That's classified. Suffice to say that the smuggler who was previously holding it will be spending the rest of their life in prison. Aurora is a Class A controlled substance that's illegal to transport outside of Neon, a city on Voli. Get caught with this stuff aboard a ship and you're looking at some serious fines. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. 
That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Let's just say my superiors need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses, they'll have no choice but to allocate the resources that I've requested. At the same time, we can use the evidence to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. If I didn't have confidence in your abilities, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Then you better learn to swim, because you're diving right into the deep end on this one. I've studied your profile. I know you can do this. I'm not about to throw away someone's life on a whim or a prayer. Just use your best judgment, trust your instincts, and watch your back. At this point, whether you like it or not, you're working for me. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance, and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, and at the completion of your assignments, Head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. You have your orders. <clears throat> All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, since it isn't every day we stumble across a criminal's fully written confession, we need to build a case against our suspects. The more evidence we acquire, the stronger our case becomes. And knowing the Crimson Fleet, they'll leave plenty of evidence for you to find. You still there? You seem like you were about to make a point and then... I'd scour every inch of wherever the Crimson Fleet sends you. Otherwise, you're wasting our time and risking your neck for nothing. Criminals are sloppy. Look hard enough and I'm certain you'll stumble across their mess. You better make it, because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig.
For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. What? No. It's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. If you don't mind, I'd like to hurry this up. I was hoping that you'd be inspired into thinking this is more than a punishment. It appears that I was wrong. I suppose we'll simply have to motivate you in a different way. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. We'll be here if you need us. I suppose. 
Lazarus. Care to share your troubles? I am concerned with how the rest of Constellation perceives my presence. Regardless of how I present myself, I feel as though they're looking at me with disdain rather than comradeship. Honestly, I think you're being a bit paranoid. Everyone I've spoken to has nothing but complimentary things to say about you. If that is truly the case, why do I often find myself excluded from other members' activities and gatherings? Having someone from House Varun among us is a new experience. I'm certain they're unsure if you even wish to be approached at all. Give them time, Andresia. They'll come around. I promise. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. Alright, let me transfer over the data. But, I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. No, just need to follow your scanner to the real destination. Might be a boot journey. But that's the explorer's lot sometimes. You're looking for the eye of the storm. Whole thing is a whirlwind. But getting to the source? Need to wear your patience thick.
Anything I can help you with? Okay, sure. We'll take care of any holes, broken seals, that kind of thing.
again. Who do you think will be the first to ask us questions? Mateo or Noel? Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. It's a strong theory. Couldn't find that planetary anomaly without the data from the artifact. We'll need one to find the other. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. aren't exactly on the best footing with each other right now. But we need to talk. I'll try to be brief. I feel like I've been waiting my whole I need you to explain yourself. Now! Artifacts. That doesn't sound crazy, does it? How can you not have any idea why I'm mad right now? Just mind-boggling. I work with you because I believe in you, and I trust you. And you violated that trust. Fine. I am yelling. That's fair. But this is actually serious. And I'm not joking here. Either you made a mistake, or you're not the person I thought you were when I said I'd travel with you. Okay, I'll listen to what you have to say, but I'm not going to accept excuses. I was shocked. I was. But it helps to hear you acknowledge it.
Just because we do extraordinary things doesn't mean we can justify bad behavior. I want to believe that you can be a better person. I'm relieved that you're willing to try. I know you're dealing with a lot right now. I understand that. I get it. <sighs> I guess I can believe that we can move beyond this. But please, learn from this. We have a universe to explore, and I'd like to do that with you. But do this again, and I'll have to reconsider. I am at your service, Captain.